Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about how to install hard drive in a Hike Vision DVR and NVR. It's very similar, as you can see here, I have a Hike Vision NVR, but to install in a DVR is the same process, okay? So as you can see, I have the hard drive, it's already here, and you just need to use the screws to mount the uh, hard drive in place. And then you need to connect the cables. So here I have two cables, I have the, I have the SATA cable and also their power cable. It's connected to the hard drive and to motherboard and it's working, right? So pretty simple like this. After that, you just need to connect your NVR to a monitor and turn it on, just like I have here, I have a monitor, as you can see. So it's connected to my NVR using this HDMI cable that I have here, right? So connect to my monitor and then I have a mouse that I can control the menu. And when I turn on the NVR, I see this image, okay? By the way, I have a camera here, connect to the NVR already, right? Just one camera to test. And here, when I turn the NVR, I get, I get this message that not all local hard drives are installed, okay? Initialization, we erase all data on the disk. Do you want to initialize the disks? So basically, you are initializing the disk after the installation, okay? So you click yes. And then you need to log in. Oh, let me try again. Menu. Here we go. So you come here to the hard drives. You see it does it initialize it. Okay, so I need to check this and click here to initialize the hard drive. So I get the question again, initialize. In initialization, you erase all data on the hard drive. Continue. Okay, continue. And here you see the message that is initializing and it just waits to come to 100% and then you're good to go. Now you see the status here as normal, the property as read and write, so it's working. And the capacity of the hard drive here is close to two terabytes, okay? As you can see here in the hard drive, if you take a look, it's a hard drive with two terabytes, okay? So, and the calculation here, you're gonna see almost two terabytes on the screen. And which is very, very important for uh, NVR or DVR, whatever you're using, you need to use this hard drive like this one, for example, Seagate, Skyhawk, this is a Skyhawk Lite, and there are another Skyhawk for on Seagate, and it's important to have the correct hard drive because in this case, this unit is recording all the time. So don't use a hard drive that you're supposed to use for PCs. It doesn't work that well, okay? You can have problems if you install a different hard drive that's for PC. No, you need to install hard drive for uh, DVR and NVR. That's the case here. Skyhawk is a good one from Seagate. You have also Western Digital uh, with the purple line that's for NVRs and DVRs, okay? So basically it's installed like this and here it's initialized, it's normal now. And then here you see the capacity of the hard drive and everything is good now, okay? So if you have more hard drive, you just need to come here and add the hard drive. Let's say for example, you have a remote uh, NAS or network access storage. You can insert the IP here and have access to the NAS remotely. So you can have extra hard drive. It's a remote hard drive, but you can have extra space so your NVR can record here, okay? So basically now you have your hard drive working. As you come back here, you can see that there is a symbol here for start recording. So here we go. Let me just double click here and take a look. And here we go. If you want to just press here and stop recording, you can stop recording, okay? It's just a test, so you can test to make sure that's recording. You click here on the record button, you see the symbol for recording, and then you stop here, and then you can come back and look for playback, okay? And now, as you can see, I have recorded footage here and I have the indication that the footage is recorded and I can select and take a look if it's good or not. Right now I'm recording with continuous 
Okay, you can also record with motion detection or whatever way you want to record. And remember, when you start recording the hard drive, you're gonna see here the date, sorry, which date that you have recording, like this one, for example, today is, is five, so July 5. You can see that there's some recording here. And when you have, let's say on July 6, July 7, you wanna see also here that's blue indicating that you have normal recording or you can have recording for events or whatever way you start recording here okay so pretty easy and now you see that's recording and here also have uh alarm exception indicating that network is disconnected okay so if you want to connect your nvr to the the router to have access to the internet you need to connect a cable here in this case i don't have the cable yet i'm just using cable to connect to the camera here as you can see it's connected to the internal switch here in the nvr and i don't have cable connected to the LAN that goes to the router that's why i have the message there but my hard drive is working pretty fine and i have at least one camera that i start recording there and it's normal okay uh, something else that you can check here on the menu for the hard drives is when you come here to the configuration, you can see the exception, right? And here you see hard drive full. If when the hard drive full, you can have a uh, audible warning. You can also send a mail to yourself. Later, of course, you need to configure email here in the, in the NVR, but you can send an email to yourself to let you know the hard drive is full. And you can notify the surveillance center if you're using the software to monitor your NVR. You can come here for hard drive errors and check here again as well if you want to. You can also trigger an alarm output, right? If you're using alarm in your NVR. So basically anything related to the hard drive here, when it's full, when it has error, you can check here to let you know what's going on. Okay, so pretty easy. Okay guys, so that's it. Just to recap here, you have to install your hard drive, connect to your cables, make sure they have a good hard drive, like a Seagate, for example, Western Digital, Western Digital Purple, or Seagate Skyhawk uh, Light. Okay, I'll leave the link here in the description so you can make sure that you get the correct one. And as soon as you have everything connected here, you have to initialize your hard drive to make it work. And then, you was going to record your camera according to the capacity of your hard drive that you see just right here. So make sure you get a good hard drive with a good brand and also the capacity that's enough for your NVR or DVR to record everything that you need, okay? So that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up in your comments, and I see you in the next video.